Who gets called up to the Torah on Shabbat? So, we all know that first a Kohen, then a Levi, and then five other Yisraelim. Five other Yisraelim. And after, uh, after the first Kohen and the first Levi, you shouldn't call another Kohen and another Levi. Uh, of course, uh, this accepts, we're not, we don't include the last Aliyah, which is also the introduction to Maftir, which is also Maftir, and there you can call a Kohen or a Levi because you're not part of the regular reading of these seven Aliyot. As far as a katan is concerned, the child who is, uh, who is uh, educatable, for whom the obligation of teaching about mitzvot exists, even though he can uh, theoretically get an aliyah, but the minig is that we don't give aliyot to young people who are not yet 13 years old. Of age, and uh, even after seven men have been called up to the Torah, and we want to add aliyot, right? You don't add, you don't give the aliyot to a katan to someone who's not yet bar mitzvah, except of course the aliyah that we call maftir, which is not a real aliyah. It's not because we finished reading the Torah already. There, you could give the honor uh, to a to a katan, so that it may be because the people who get called up to the Torah were once actually the ones who read the Torah and were fulfilling the obligation on behalf of the tzibur, all the people who are in the in the room, that you didn't um, want to call up a katan. Because if he's not obligated to do the mitzvah, how is he going to do the mitzvah on my behalf? Uh, so I didn't want to call up a katan. When it comes to maftir, it's not really a mitzvah, as we will see. I mean, to read those few psukim at the end over again. So then it's not so terrible if I call up a katan to do that aliyah, because in any event, in any event, the katan um, is not doing something for me. He's not. Uh, being motzi, he's not doing the mitzvah and crediting me with that uh, mitzvah. Uh, generally speaking, we don't allow a katan to read from the Torah to be the Baal Korei. Uh, of course, if there's, uh, there are those who say that if there's no choice, if there's no one else who can read the Torah, there's only a katan. And uh, so some poskim say that you could uh, let him read the Torah, except, of course, Parashat Zachor. I remember we said that all of these Torah readings start out with Moshe Rabbeinu, but Parashat Zachor that we read before Purim is, is in the Torah. It's in the Torah itself. So there, the mitzvah that's done by reading the Torah has to be done by someone, surely, who's chayev to do the mitzvah in the Torah, and the Koton is not that person. And so that even though he may be obligated me to Rabbanan because of the mitzvah of Chinuch, he's not obligated min ha-Torah, and therefore his reading is not sufficient to, um, to be motzi me in doing the mitzvah. So generally speaking, we don't let a katan, we don't let a katan um, read from the Torah.